gentlemen, welcome to the Northwest Baseball Report podcast. I'm your host, Josh, and I'll be honest, guys, I was kind of going back and forth on whether or not to record uh, this episode, a lot of stuff to get into. Well, not a lot, but I'm going to try and be as quick as possible. Um, I do tend to get long-winded sometimes when I'm just talking by myself. Uh, that's because I was a pastor for 10 years, so it comes naturally, but uh, I want to jump into some things. Uh, I'm sure some of you guys have seen the Twitter post where I've talked about where the photography side of Northwest Baseball Report may be coming to an end. Uh, it's not because I want it to. Uh, it's more out of just there isn't really another option. Um, so I'll kind of explain that, uh, talk about what's going to happen moving forward. Um, before I do any of that, I do want to say thank you to uh, not Patreon supporters that I have. Uh, they're going to be they're going to be big going into the future. Um, with the things I, I hope to continue doing with the site. Um, I want to thank those people who have bought photos. That, um, that's been huge. That's been a big uh, blessing as well. Um, just a lot of stuff. I just want to say thank you to everybody who's following me on Twitter and supporting and encouraging. I know when I put that tweet out talking about the end of possibly doing photography, I um, had a number of people reach out, and it, and it was I, it was greatly appreciated. But, guys, let's get into this. Um, as many of you know, uh, that I've talked to before, or if you've heard this before, um, I'm a stay-at-home dad. That's that's my job. That's what I do, um, and I, I love it. But to help bring in some extra income as well as just to do my hobby because I love doing it, um, I do photography. Um, I do Northwest Baseball Report. That it that doesn't. I don't make any money off of that. I don't make any money off of nine inning know it all. I don't make any money off the podcast or if I load things to YouTube. I don't make money off any of those things. Uh, photography is the only thing that I make money off of, but I don't make that much money. I mean, I make it enough to um, cover some fun little activities for my family and I, but for the most part, the money I make selling photos covers the cost of going to the events to do the photography. Um, you know, going down to, to Medford for baseball Northwest, got to pay for gas, food, and motel. Um, and then I've, I've pretty much, I've almost broke even with the photo sales I've had. So that's great. Um, but once again, it covers the cost of what I'm doing and not really making a profit, which I'm sure a lot of you guys understand. You know, that's just, it's what it is. I, I love doing it. Um, I love getting out there to the different games, different things like that. Um, but the reason I'm able to go do those things is truly because um, my wife has a very good job, a job that covers all of our costs for our expenses for our family for our home and it frees me up to one be a stay-at-home dad but also to go out and do these other things for fun the things i enjoy the things i love to do you know and things that you know i think are a benefit you know for for the baseball community here in the northwest um it turns out that at this time um my wife's employment is changing um it turns out that she may not be employed in another month month and a half and with that um, comes the realization that we've got to make decisions to, you know, take care of things. And um, it means that, you know, I'm not going to be able to go out and do a lot of the hobby things, the things I enjoy, not because I don't make money, but because I don't make enough money to cover, you know, my family's expenses, our bills. That's got to be the priority. Um, I'm sure all you adults out there understand that and all you high schoolers and Enjoy what you have right now, college students. Enjoy what you have now, because the real world is not always the, the most enjoyable. But, um, but once again, with my wife not, you know, having her job in the near future, possibly um, that's still it's not confirmed, but um, it's looking that direction. It's going to affect the photography side of things, um, and it's going to mean I can't get out and and do things that I want to do. Uh, might even mean that we have to move. Um, it's. You know, a lot of question marks, a lot of things going up in the air. Just don't know every, all the answers right now. But once again, because I have so many of you guys who are, you know, supportive and encouraging, I, just, I thought it'd be fair to just come out and, and tell you guys what's going on so you understand when changes happen with the site and with what I'm doing. You know, it's not a shock. People understand why. Um, because I'll be honest, the last few weeks have been so much fun. Um, going up to Puyallup to cover the uh, the PNW games ran by Red and and Arlo were just they were so much fun. And then to 
you know, followed that up by going down to Medford and doing the baseball Northwest stuff with Josh Warner down there. That was so much fun as well. I mean, I really have had two amazing events the last couple of weeks uh, that really were just phenomenal. They were absolutely phenomenal. And I loved being out there, loved doing what I was doing. Um, and it just, you know, it's going to be rough for me not being able to go out there and do the photography side of things. Now, um, you know, maybe things will happen. I'll still be able to do it. But uh, regardless, the goal is to keep the sites going. You know, I want to keep the sites going. And as I mentioned right off the bat that, um, you know, I, I don't make money doing the sites. I don't make money uh, doing the podcast. I don't, make, I don't make money doing videos. I don't make money doing any of that stuff. So that stuff is going to be um, really dependent on a couple of things. One, make sure I have enough money to cover the subscription costs for the sites and for all that stuff. Um, and then the other part of it is just trying to find the time to do it. Um, I think time's going to be a lot easier because I can do stuff in the evenings if I have to, mornings. You know, I, I get up early in the morning. I can do a lot of stuff. So providing content and honestly, so many teams and players have been so great about doing the season recaps and the player spotlight articles and that type of stuff. It's, it's made content pretty easy for the site. So I want to keep that stuff going. But uh, one of the things I want to talk about is just the importance of Patreon and the supporters that I have because in order to keep the subscriptions going for the web hosting, for the, the sites that I have, for the um, podcast and all those things, that, there are subscription requirements and Patreon, you know, the money I get there goes directly to all those things. That's what that money is used for 100%. I mean, there's, it's it just what it is. I have to use it that way. And I'm so thankful that I have Patreon supporters there that each month I get, you know, whether it's a dollar or two dollars or three dollars or five dollars that they give each month, that money helps cover at least a, a portion of the su subscription costs that I have. It doesn't cover everything at this point. Um, hoping that hope, hopefully, I kind of build that Patreon up some more, get some more people on there, and we can really get going and make sure that the site stays stays going for a long time. Um, that maybe even the podcast stays going for a long time. Um, it'll change, it'll be different, but at the same time, it'll still be fun. So, um, so yeah, I mean, that's the thing, guys, as, as I want to, I want to keep things going. I want to keep the site going because I believe that baseball in the Northwest is grossly underreported on. Um, you don't see a whole lot of stuff for travel ball stuff. Uh, in fact, you rarely see anything ever unless a team wins like a regional tournament or something like that. Um, you just don't get newspaper coverage. You don't get um, TV coverage, obviously. You just don't get a lot of coverage, even from blogs. And, you know, even look at, like, the colleges. You know, most colleges will have at least an article or two written about them um, from week to week. But not all colleges even get that, you know. And even then, it's, it's not enough. There should be a lot more. There's a lot of great baseball being played here in the Northwest that, that honestly requires more than just a box score. There should at least be summaries and and coaches talking about their players and players talking about what happened. And, and that's something I'm very passionate about and believe in. So that's why, you know, I've been talking with uh, not only coaches in the NWAC who have been awesome the last seven years that I've been covering the NWAC, uh, but talking to coaches who um, coach at the NCAA D2 level, the D3 level, NAIA, all those, all those colleges, you know, they've come on board and been very supportive as well. And I, and I can't, I can't tell you how appreciative I am of that as well. So I want to keep doing that. want to keep getting players highlighted. want to keep getting teams highlighted and do as much as I can um, for as long as I can. But it does, you know, I, I am going to ask for Patreon supporters because um, that's what it's going to take to keep the sites and stuff going because without photography, I'm not going to have any form of revenue coming in to cover costs for anything. I mean, it, photos were were it. They were the, the thing that kept it going. So um, I'm hoping things work out. I'm hoping I can keep doing photography, but I, I'm trying to be realistic and, and realize that that probably isn't going to be how things play out. And I'm, I'm a little sad about that. Um, it's been, well, it's been like 10 years of photography I've been doing. Um, last few years been a little more intense and more focused on it, which has been great. Um, but you know, it, it is what it is and, you know, 
not all good things can last forever. That's that's just something I've learned in my life, and I'm sure a lot of people understand that as well. So, guys, that's just a quick update. Um, I know it's a downer. It, it, it's been a downer the last couple of days when we started figuring things out and learning uh, information. But in the end, guys, you know what? I still want to report on baseball in the Northwest. Um, I know I've got individuals in different areas here in the Northwest who are talking about um, helping out and doing different things. You know, come next spring, we might actually have um, reports from Alaska being on the website uh, on a somewhat regular basis. We might have uh, more content from the Seattle area. I'm hoping to find individuals who will help put together, you know, recaps and articles from, you know, Eastern Washington and Oregon and, and Idaho and Montana. I mean, honestly, the more people who want to join on and help out with this, uh, whether it be Patreon or just writing articles and gathering information and putting stuff together, um, every little bit helps. I mean, that, that's that's the honest truth. Every little bit helps. And um, yeah, so guys, with that, thank you for listening. I hope uh, hope everyone else is doing better than I am right now. But either way, baseball will continue on. I'm excited to keep tabs on all the amazing players I've gotten to meet this summer. There are so many of them. I mean, I'll be honest with you guys. When I got down to Baseball Northwest, and there are guys at every field who know who I am, at least know I'm baseball North, you know, Northwest Baseball Report guy. And, you know, it's fun to be there and, and have guys talk to you and um, just learn about baseball players, you know, not the game, but the players themselves uh, really is awesome. So, guys, thanks for listening. Um, until next time, talk to you guys later. Have a good day.